Broadcasting out of Albuquerque, New Mexico, you're listening to the Low Blow MMA Boxing Podcast. What here on this with the Low Blow SWFight.com here with Jose Benavides Sr. How you doing? Hey, we're doing real good, man. Thank you so much for taking this opportunity you know, to have, you guys, uh, have me uh, with you guys, Low Blow, with you guys. So thank you. It's, it's, a, it's our pleasure, and you know, you've been happy. Helping here, Latif Coyote train for Tarver. How is he looking, and and what do you think of the the ultimate outcome of the fight's going to be? Well, you know he's looking really strong right now. You know his condition is, is really good, and that's what he needs for Antonio Tarver. You know he has to be a little bit aggressive at the same time. You know he has to be real careful with that uppercut and that left hook. You know, I mean the right hook. Uh, just man, you know he has to get it, man. This time, you know he trained really hard. He's real strong, and he has to go for it. You know. Now, when it comes on how big of a fight that of a actual. Tr- you know, fighters that you've gone and trained. Is this one of the bigger fights that you've actually done? Uh, yeah, actually, yeah. You know, I was with him for a whole year before he got those other little titles. Uh, I, I was uh, working with Freddie. Uh, he gave me the opportunity to work with him for a while. I was working with Ahula Seth Charlie Jr., uh, Amir Khan, and uh, Brian Mento. And uh, uh, I, can't, I can't remember the other ones, but, uh, but I did work with Latif Coyote for a while, and I did take him to some fights when he uh, wasn't able to uh, go with uh, Latif. And, uh, yeah, this is one of the biggest fights, man. I'm really excited to be here with them. And uh, they, they called me. I was in Arizona. And, um, and right away I said, yeah, you know, because I, I do like Latif Coyote a lot. You know, he's a really nice guy. Yeah, and your son, Jose Benavides Jr., he's one of the young, up-and-coming, probably one of the best blue-chip fighters that are coming up. And he just came off with a pretty impressive victory recently uh, after a hand injury. How's, how's he looking? Yeah, you know what? I, I wasn't really happy about it. He did okay to me. He did okay. I think he could have stopped him like in the fourth or fifth round, I think. But you know what? I, I went back and I was watching the video and uh, I think, you know, me as his father and trainer, I, I won one, you know? But you know what? I, th- I think about it. I think he did good. He was really smart about it, you know? I mean, he was taking care of his hand. His hand is real good, you know? Um, I think he was just a little bit careful not to get it injured. Um, and um, hopefully next fight he'll, he'll do better, you know. But yeah, no, no, he did good. He did control the fight. The jab, man, I, I really love the jab, the way he was getting out from this guy when he was throwing those big shots. And uh, he didn't go to the road, you know, he was using his distance, cutting out the ring a little bit. So I um, happy. Yeah, well, it was a pleasure to meet you, sir. Thank you. Best thank of luck you. Saturday. And thank, thank you, you so much. much. Low blow. Thank we'll you catch so much. you guys.